My name is Karen Prince and today we have something a little bit different. Now this is going to be like a little hair techie video. I don't know. Anyways, you need this. Okay. If you do your own hair, you are going to need this. Now I've been seeing like the three way mirrors for a long time and I see how people will like hang them up on the back of their doors, but I don't have a door behind my mirror in my bathroom. So I saw somebody on TikTok who had a three-way mirror and they had a three-way mirror and they were able to move it. So I went and checked the price. I was like, hmm, let me see how much this costs. It was $200. I said, oh no, we could do that for cheaper, okay? Because I know on Amazon, the three-way mirrors are affordable. So I was like, yeah, $200, that's just out of the question for me for a three-way mirror. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make a mobile three-way mirror using items from Amazon, okay? Of course, everything is gonna be linked down in the description. So if you wanna see how to make this three-way mirror where you can move it around and take it wherever you need to go, go ahead and continue to watch this video. Okay, so what you're gonna need first is some sort of stand. This is a stand that goes to my backdrop thingy so I used to do events and stuff like that so I have like extra stands but this is a backdrop stand okay you can use a backdrop stand you can use like a light stand okay you're gonna need one of these all right you can buy an iPad holder but I'm not sure how sturdy it will be but these poles are like sturdy so you're gonna need something a little heavy duty for this all right the next thing you're gonna need is an actual iPad holder. Now this iPad holder is a little bit different because this one is used for people who like are into music and stuff like that and they wanna attach their iPads to their mic stand, okay? So this is like what it looks like. So you're gonna need one of these and of course you're gonna need you a three-way mirror. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up your iPad holder and you're going to click this into here. This was screwed on here, so I just screwed it off, put the little screw thing around the ball and stick the ball into the back of the iPad holder. And then you're just gonna screw it on, okay? Okay, so we're just gonna screw that on. We're not gonna tighten it all away. You're gonna wanna open this up like this, right? And then you're gonna attach it to the pole and then just flip it back around and it's gonna go on there. Pull it until it's tight, okay? This thing gets really tight. <laughs> it's not going nowhere, okay? It comes with some tools that you'll need to adjust this. I'm gonna go ahead and use the bolt thingy. So use this to put this here. And you're gonna tight, tighten it. Make sure it's standing up straight. Now you can do this all kind of ways, but the mirror thingy is pretty heavy. So when you tighten it, make sure it's just standing up straight. Okay, so there. And that's that. This is on here really good. It's not gonna move. And you need something really, really sturdy. Like I can't stress that enough. You need something really, really sturdy because this little mirror thing is heavy. I was looking for a lighter mirror, but it's pretty heavy. So then I'm just gonna turn this vertical, make sure everything is tight. After you do that, then of course, the last thing to do is just put the mirror on here. So just slide it in like you would do for an iPad holder. Okay, so you're gonna wanna make sure it's like all the way back, all right? And there's two spots where you can tighten using the tools. One is gonna be on right here, but it's the bolt is on the other side, I'm sorry. One is gonna be right there, and another one is gonna be right here. And you use this tool to stick it in here, and you crank it and tighten it. You wanna make sure all of that is tight. 
this is sturdy it's not going nowhere okay it's very sturdy and then you'll be able to open it as you see fit okay I'm actually just gonna use some like, um, what is this, like booby tape, or if you can't find booby tape, I will recommend going to the Dollar Tree and just like getting some medical grade tape and taping it across the top or any type of grip tape. If they have something on Amazon, I'm gonna link like literal grip tape in the description, but yes, please tape this up because you don't want it falling. If you get some black tape to make it cute, go ahead and do that. Now with the light pole thingy, depending on where you attach this, you can adjust this up and down for your height, okay? So if you're standing up, you can put it on a higher portion of the light post, but if you're sitting down like this, say I wanted to use this mirror behind me, I would just open it up and use it that way, okay? Yes, but make sure that this stuff is tight, okay? You do not want this falling on you. Be sure to secure it very, very good. Okay, yeah. But yes, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope someone finds this useful. Like I said, over here on this channel, we braid our hair. I don't know what type of video this is, a hair tech video, a hair hack video. I just hope that you enjoy it. And I hope that you guys try this out because listen, I was using the mirror to hold and to part that's over with done with okay so i hope you found this hair hack helpful okay and yeah i will talk to you guys later bye